Howdy guys, have you ever wanted to carry your bikes on the back of your motorhome while you tow your vehicle? I've been wanting to do this for the last couple of months while we've been on the road. Previously we've had a Yakima rack on the back of our truck while we tow the truck and anytime we want to go anywhere I've got to take the bike rack off the truck so we can go 4 by or something like that without, without jarring up the bikes too much. Well recently we went to Camping World and a couple other places and we got some parts and pieces to make this idea work. Um, it's fairly common. It's nothing nothing crazy, but what I did is went and got a, a dual receiver hitch one for the uh, Car tower or the tow bar and the other for the bike rack right over here So as you can see it's a double a dual hitch That goes into the motorhome right back here The hitch itself is rated at 10,000 pounds and the tow bar is rated at 10,000 pounds and our truck is only like 55 or 6,000 pounds, so we're good on the weight ratings uh, and then you got the, the uh, upper tube right here for the bike rack. We went to, uh, went to Camper World, got the bike rack too. And one thing about it is it kind of stuck out a little bit too far. So when I have the bikes mounted on here, the truck is like right up over in this area. It's a little bit tight. So I modified the bar a little bit. They really, they, the mounting hole, mounting pin hole was way back here. Well, I drilled a new one way up here. So the bike rack slides further in, giving me more clearance between the bikes and the truck. So I'll get this attached, we'll put some bikes on it, and we'll show you. All right, so that's kind of how the bike, the, the uh, bikes ride on the rack. The tow bars comes out quite a ways still. Let's pull one arm out real quick. So the tow bar for the truck still comes out of a respectable uh, distance. So even making, a, even making the tight turns, we've got a good amount of space here to uh, maneuver in the tight turn situations. And if we need to, I can take off the front wheel of the bike here and turn the handlebar sideways, and that would give us all the clearance we'd ever need. So this is gonna help a lot in our towing situation. We'll keep the bikes in the back of the motorhome. We'll have the truck hooked up back here towing the motorhome. It'll just be a really nice setup. All right, so now you can see we've got the bike rack attached to the uh, motorhome on the new dual receiver hitch, and we've also attached the truck. And from what I can see here, there's plenty of clearance for the for the, the sway of the truck. When it, when it turns, the truck kind of follows us around the corner, and it gets a little tight in this area and over on the back tires. But I believe we're going to be okay uh, with the with the space that we have here. I do have the camera up there uh, on the motorhome, so as we're traveling down through these tight corners, I can check and make sure that we are going to be okay with the bikes uh, being a little bit closer to the truck. But for now, I'm really happy with the setup. Uh, we have the bikes on the back of the motorhome. It's going to be it's going to be so much easier to uh, enjoy the truck actually, because previously we had the bike rack on the back of the truck, and we had to take the bikes off anytime we wanted to go four wheeling or trail riding or something like that. So now having the bikes in the motorhome, it's a heck of a lot easier to uh, get the truck off and, and getting on the trails. Um, I recommend uh, doing this for anybody. Uh, if, you, if you have a set of bikes and you want to tow a car as well, this is the way to go. All right, that's it for now. Until next time, Pauhana.